National Lumber was a chain of home improvement centers that started in 1942 and closed in 1990. Thank you for your suggestion. Plants that can't take the heat, Sarlon 60% shade cloth comes in six foot width. I forgot Am I too late here? National Lumber. When Sol Jaffe opened his used lumber store at 17326 Woodruff Avenue in Bellflower in 1942, Southern California was still a sleepy agricultural region. But World War II unleashed a powerful economic expansion that changed the region's complexion forever, and national lumber and supply was in a position to prosper. As an unprecedented post-war building boom turned orange groves into housing tracks, National Lumber thrived and gradually evolved into a chain of 21 do-it-yourself hardware stores. National Lumber was once a pioneer in the industry, being among the first retailers to develop into a full-service home improvement center and to expand beyond a single store. 1965, Melvin Jaffe, son of Saul Jaffe, became president of National Lumber. He is widely credited with spearheading the company's expansion. National Lumber opened its second store in 1965 and added two more by the end of the decade, including the first one in Orange County. The chain added five stores in the 1970s and 13 more in the 1980s for a total of 22, all of them in Southern California. Growth and prosperity stopped by the mid-1980s, and the company's condition deteriorated since scoring a record earnings of $2.1 million in fiscal 1983. That same year, the company made its first public offering in 1983, primarily to raise money for expansion, which resulted in the company raising $10 million. National Lumber was raising the money to build more mid-sized stores, while the large national chains were planning their moves into Southern California. These national chains, such as Home Depot, Builder Square, and Home Club, recognized the rapid growth in the do-it-yourself and building industries and opened 100,000 square foot warehouses, crowding out the neighborhood hardware stores, lumber yards, and regional home decorating centers that had dominated the market for years. Industry leader Home Depot opened its first California store in Orange County in 1985. National Lumber had proven less adept at reacting to changes in its market and stumbled badly. Over the next five years, the company experienced operating losses. They were rapidly losing market share in the $5 billion home improvement retail market in Southern California. The large retailers located their stores nearly side by side with smaller companies like National Lumber, whose stores averaged 60,000 square feet. The national chain soon overpowered their smaller rivals when it came to variety, price, and service. The larger stores had also been more successful at managing inventory and costs. National Lumber finished installing a computerized inventory system in 1989, several years behind most retail chains and four years after the installation began. National Lumber tried to remain the low-priced leader, but at the expense of profits. By fiscal 1989, gross margins improved, but the company was unable to bring in customers and sales slipped to $159 million for fiscal 1988 to $152 million for fiscal 1989. The company attempted to restore profitability, but the company's problem was that they didn't pay attention to the changes. In fiscal 1989, when it ended in January 31st, National Lumber lost $4.6 million. The first nine months of fiscal 1990, the loss was $4.4 million. Melvin Jaffe was trying to make a number of major changes to boost sales, including restructuring of store operations, 
redesign of advertising, in-store merchandising improvements, and employee incentives. But stores continued to do poorly, and for the first nine months of fiscal 1990, revenue lagged by 8% over the year earlier period at $107 million. Another problem started at the top. The president of the company was seen as an autocrat when it came to running the company. One industry observer noted that the store managers didn't develop budgets or order merchandise without most decisions being made at the top. National Lumber's longtime advertising campaign even bears Jaffe's stamp. Cartoon mascots, Cheap Chicken and Shorty, were created by Jaffe in the 1960s. The screechy voiced characters who used wit to pitch the store's products had given the company name identity with consumers. But the characters were criticized by executives in the ad industry as being not only amateurish and antiquated, but also ineffective. Observers felt that Jaffe wasn't willing to make enough changes or give up some of his authority to turn the company around. Other retailers at the time adapted to the competition from the national chains by closing stores, changing market strategies, or even selling their businesses. National Lumber needed to make similar significant marketing and merchandising changes in order to revive its sales and earnings. In addition to focusing on high margin items, National Lumber failed to expand its share of specialty markets such as building contractors or upscale buyers. In March of 1990, National Lumber and Supply Inc. closed six locations of its 21 home building centers and laid off about 165 employees. Those locations included Fullerton, La Mirada, Riverside, Moreno Valley, Oceanside, and Covina. The chain filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization on April 3, 1990. But by August 28, 1990, the bankruptcy court ordered the Fountain Valley Company liquidated. By September of 1990, U.S. bankruptcy judge James Barr approved the sale of the once thriving home improvement chain's two remaining stores. Jaffe paid $1.3 million for the store in Cathedral City, and Builders Emporium bought the Encinitas store for about $1.3 million. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.